hope you're all well. Uh, today we're going to start a new reading vlog. It's going to be a weekend one. Today is Friday the 22nd of July and this weekend I am planning on reading two books at least. Um, I will let future me tell you about that in a minute but I do have a few things to unbox. So we're going to do this first and see what's in here because I'm very excited. Uh, so first up we do have some stuff from Redbubble and I know exactly what this is. Um, if you are unaware, Jade my best friend, um, is hosting a readathon in August called Polathon. And uh, she is, she's ramped it up a bit this time around and I'm really, really proud of her. We as Daisy and B, uh, if you didn't know, myself and Jade run an Etsy store. Uh, we are in business together and it's very exciting. I love working with my best friend. But we have put up some bookmarks, which are Polathon bookmarks and 20% of everything that we sell on the shop. For the for Polathon, we'll be going to Polar Bears International. So we are raising money for charity and the whole readathon itself, as far as Jade is concerned, is to raise money for charity. Um, as far as her reading specifically is concerned. Same with mine. Um, and I think a lot of other people are going to take part as well. But we have also dropped merch on the shop, the Redbubble shop, if you didn't know. Again, Daisy and B have a Redbubble shop. So we do merch every now and then for a couple of our designs. And this time we have gone for Polarthorn design. This is the Polar Bears walking with Polarthorn. 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 Polar thon in the background this seems way bigger than my last few from redbubble in this size uh, but i'm not mad about it so i did get polathon as a t-shirt because it's been incredibly warm recently um and i wanted to get that one as a t-shirt because i got this one as a sweater just a pocket bear uh for polathon i got it as a sweater because then i can wear it like yearly like all year round i can wear the t-shirt all year round but i wear sweaters more often and i thought i'd get the pocket bear for uh, the rest of the year so I got those two from Redbubble and then I also did get a mug so let's get ourselves into this and find out how it looks because I'm excited really do love our merch honestly it makes me so excited this is freaking adorable uh, so this is the polar bears walking design on a mug and I am obsessed with it. I'm so happy I got one of these. Uh, so yeah, everything is designed by Jade and then I do the um, admin -y stuff. So it's exciting, I love it. Uh, then I do have this, I don't know who this is from or what it is. Okay, this I got from Amazon. Uh, the price came down massively on it, so I got it from there, but I don't know where. It must become, have come from a private seller on Amazon or something. But I got Do You Dream of Terror 2 by Temi O, uh, which is a sci-fi book. And I've had my eye on this for a long, long time. Oh, that crack. Uh, but I just didn't know if it would be up my street. And I know that G has read it recently in one of her reading vlogs and really, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to give it a go because mine and G's sci-fi side of things is very, very similar. We both love The Martian by Andy Weir and we both really enjoyed um, the other one that he did as well. Not the one with the female character because I didn't like that one. I actually DNF'd it. Uh, that was Artemis. What was the other one that I really liked by Andy? I don't know what the fuck it's called. I'll put it here though. So we both like read, we have, have similar vibes on sci fi. So uh, on the basis that she enjoyed it, I decided I was going to pick a copy up. I could have got it in paperback, but I actually really like this cover. So I wanted to get it in hardback. Um, so yeah, I got Do You Dream of Terror 2, which is exciting. Okay, I've been waiting for about five days for this. I don't know why it took so long, but I also got uh, Slewfoot by uh brom the tale of bewitchery now i know i think i saw did i see ashley from a frolic through fiction pick this one up i can't remember but riley marie has read this recently and she really enjoyed it and so i wanted to get it um i wanted to see some reviews on it first before i picked it up because i didn't know whether it would be like my scene or not uh but it sounds really good and there are like actual real pictures in here and stuff like i say real pictures they're drawings but it's an, like a picture it feels like a picture of paper does that make sense uh so this is a fairy tale a witchery a bewitchery sorry tale of bewitchery so i did want to give this one a go and i thought it would be perfect with spooky season coming up soon so i did get myself that 
this you don't need to you don't it doesn't matter it's for work it's for the shop it's the uh, little cellophane packaging that we put our bookmarks in so there's no need to show you that i just forgot that it was in the pile to be perfectly honest <laughs> and then this one is i did order this a copy of this book from waterstones and i'm fuming that they cancelled my order literally the day before or a couple days before it was supposed to be released and i got the uh i pre-ordered the waterstone special edition with sprayed edges of this book and i'm absolutely livid that they've cancelled it so i ended up getting a normal copy which is the daughter of dr moreau by sylvia marino garcia this sounds fantastic and i'm very very here for it so uh it is a dreamy reimagining of the island of Dr. Moreau set against the backdrop of 19th century Mexico. I've only read one book by Sylvia Marino Garcia, which was Gods of Jane and Shadow. And I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it four stars. Uh, but I have all of them. So I have Velvet Was the Night. I have Mexican Gothic. I have Certain Dark Things. I have... Is that all of them? Oh, the beautiful ones. Um, so I do want to... I did want to make sure that I got a copy of this as well but i'm just fuming about the one because the pink sprayed edges were gorgeous on it and i'm just livid that they cancelled it uh so that's my uh mini 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 haul to start this reading vlog uh let's go over to future me because my books are downstairs and i can't bother to go and get them to tell you about what i'm gonna read in this reading vlog Okay, so this weekend I am planning on reading both of these. It ends with Us and Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. So we're going to have a coho weekend and I'm excited. I have read It Ends With Us before and I gave it five stars. I read this last year, around about the same time, maybe a year ago or maybe like November time. Uh, so I am looking forward to another reread. I and then Ugly Love I haven't read before. So this will be a new one for me. Um, I am reading both of these with my patrons, uh, so these are for Patreon reads, but I, I've been wanting to read this one for ages. Anyway, I basically reached out to them and asked whether or not they would be interested in like an author binge series, essentially. So we picked six books from an author that we're keen on reading. For me, it was Coho. I get to the end of a Colleen Hoover book and I want to discuss it with somebody immediately. So this works in my favour in the sense that I can then chat to my patrons immediately about these books. Uh, so... I am very excited about that. We decided on six books because to do the whole back like backlog of a author's, um, you know, backlog. To read all of the books from an author's backlog could take some time. Um, so we're doing two books a month for three months and then we will switch author. So uh, they've thrown a few names into the ring and then we will pick a different author so for the month of july we are reading it ends with us and ugly love it ends with us i have read this one previously we're following lily and atlas like initially we follow it in two different timelines so we follow lily and atlas back when lily is about i think she's 15 maybe um atlas is a little bit older and basically her parents have a very toxic relationships relationship atlas is homeless moves into the house next door and they build a friendship up they she wants it to be something more but atlas understands the fact that she's too young um and then he disappears and she never sees him again then we follow in present day when she is older and basically she ends up finding herself in this relationship with this guy called ryle but it's not everything it's cracked up to be and then randomly one day a ways into this relationship she sees atlas again and um things just kind of go from there trigger warnings if you are planning on picking this one up at some point there is um domestic abuse domestic violence um and just be wary of that going in but that's this one and then this one i don't know what this is about because i haven't read it before but i think the main character is called tate yes um so it's not exactly love at first sight for Tate Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer. They wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied. Once their desires are out in the open, they realise they might have stumbled on the perfect no-strings arrangement. He isn't looking for love and she doesn't have time for it. So that leaves just sex. What what they've got could be surprisingly satisfying as long as Tate can stick to the two rules Miles has for her. Never ask about the past. Don't expect your future. They think they can handle it, but everything is different when real emotions start to change the equation. Hearts get infiltrated, promises get broken, rules get shattered, love gets ugly. Nice. Um, so yeah, I am keen to read this one. I have heard 
incredible things. So I am excited about it. Oh, that's for Hopeless at the back. Um, so I am really looking forward to this one and rereading this one. So that's what we're going to do this weekend. Um, I also still have quite a bit of filming and editing I want to do. I may nip to the bookstore tomorrow. We will see how I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better than I was earlier. When I started this vlog, I very quickly did that unboxing and then went and passed out in bed for a couple of hours and then did a live show. So it is quite late now, but because I passed out for a few hours instead of just one, uh, I'm not ridiculously tired. So it's 10 past 11, so I am going to make a start. I can't decide whether to go straight in with my reread and get this out of the way or whether to read this one first. And I don't know what to do in this situation. So, um, I'm not sure. I feel like I might pick up Ugly Love first, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, we're going into Ugly Love first. day okay good afternoon yep it's half 12 um it is saturday it is half 12 i do look like scruff honestly i don't care <laughs> um so a thing happened last night and i may have stayed up until seven o'clock this morning reading this book <laughs> Um, there were a couple breaks in between where I was doom scrolling or, you know, debating whether or not to go to sleep, but there wasn't many and I basically smashed this out in eight hours. So I had a great time with this book. I loved it. Um, I am obsessed with Miles. I thought that Atlas was like my coho book boyfriend, but I think it's Miles now. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him and Cap is the most adorable man on the planet. He's so funny. Uh, so I think, I can't remember if I gave a general gist or not. We are following Tate and also Miles. And then we have Corbin, Tate's brother, Ian, Miles' best friend. Um, Miles and Corbin know each other because they fly together. They are both pilots. And we have Cap as well who we're following. And basically, without trying to give too much away and only give away what's on the back of the book, uh, we do follow two different timelines. So we follow Miles six years ago, and then we follow present day. Um, and Tate moves in with her brother Corbin because she's trying to um, qualify as a nurse, like the next level of her nurse training. And uh, she's doing it in San Francisco. So she moves in with her brother, who's very rarely home because he's a pilot. And across the way lives Miles. And um, she meets him on her first day there when she's moving in and her brother isn't there. But uh, it's not a great meeting, if you like. So they end up, over the course of the next few weeks, coming to the decision that they want to um, screw around. And however, Miles has got two rules. Don't ask about the past and do not expect a future. But Tate is going into this... Um, saying that she's okay with that but i know full well that she isn't and things just kind of go from bad to worse for their relationship um so it's uh, it's so incredibly good it's so 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 fucking good and i absolutely loved it it the writing is just gah coho really knows how to fit, hit you in the feels you know like she just she knows what she's doing man she's really good at it as well and i cried so many so many times i cried for tate i cried for cap i cried for miles many many times um and i just this fucking book it really knows how to hit you in the feels i don't want to spoil anything i feel like the the trigger warning i want to give here will really 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 spoil it so if you would like to know the trigger warning and you want to pick it up let me know and I will message you. I just don't think, I think if I put it here, it will really, really, really spoil the book. It can like properly spoil the book. So I don't want to give that away. 
uh, but do message me if you think that you would like to know before you go into this book because I will tell you um, but it does 100% spoil the book so I can't I don't in good faith I can't give that out uh, but I fucking loved it this is my new favorite book of the year um it's overtaken book lovers i am intrigued to see what happens though when i pick this up today because last year i both of these are five star reads but last year this got a 9.57 which is the rating down from this which got a 9.71 so book lovers also got 9.57 uh but i am intrigued to see how uh, on reread how what happens with this uh so yeah god i fucking loved this book it was so good i couldn't put it down like several times i was like i should probably put this down and go to sleep i really should put this down and go to sleep and i just couldn't do it it was so so good i knew i should have come up back and updated you like further in the book but i just couldn't do it i didn't want to put it down anyway go and read this book five freaking stars i'm obsessed co-host done it again I just, she can do no wrong, okay? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> plans for today. Uh, I was expecting this to take me like all day today at least and then try and fly through this tomorrow. I now have two more days and I only have this to read and I've already read it before. Um, so, oh, I also did get to a point where I was writing in here as well, uh, just to let you know. Like, I was making notes. It could not be helped. It needed to happen. This is me being like, if Miles ends up being a dick, I'm going to be devastated. Um, I literally wrote that as well. So, today's plan is It Ends With Us, which is a reread. Um, my other plans, I was going to try and do, like, so much today, like, so much filming and so much editing. I think that's out the window today. I think I need to be realistic because I haven't slept great a great deal so obviously i started this at 11 o'clock i finished it at 7 a.m um and then i think i finally got some sleep uh, around about half seven and i have not long since got up so i got up around well i woke up around 11 ish i kind of dozed in and out a little bit till 12 so i haven't had a great deal of sleep but i have so i, I have had some and also i slept a couple hours yesterday when i got home from work because you know um moon sister and ping uh so i i'm gonna take it easy today uh and what i'm actually gonna do i've just put a wash in so i need to put i need to strip my bedding when that's finished and i can put it in the dryer i need to strip my bedding and put a white wash in because that's a color wash um, i don't usually split my clothing but i have my new mercedes shirt and it's white and i want to make sure that that doesn't go discolored because the last white pure white colored shirt put in the wash it did become a bit discolored so we're not doing that anymore and i'm splitting and my bedding is white so we're going to do the bedding as well because last week was horrifically hot and i probably sweated a shit ton and it really needs doing so you didn't need to know that so i'm going to do the washing i've got some pots i need to wash and then i really want to edit my summer ween vlog so that it can go up this evening so i need to do that as well so i'm planning on doing those things and then at 4 p.m my time i'm doing sprints with my patrons so i will then start this book whether or not i finish it today i don't know i can't believe how easy this was to get through i did find an audiobook for it on youtube but it was really really boring um it sounded like it was run out like by a robot so i managed until around about 15 pages and then turned it off and i was like you know what i think i can actually read this quicker uh, and it turns out that that was the case i was flying through this so i wasn't flying through it but you know eight hours isn't too bad so i may just do the same thing for this it does have an audio book on audible uh but i'm gonna see how it goes uh although it is an uh, it is a reread so maybe i will just get the audio book and try and fly through it that way but we'll see um so yeah then at 4 p.m i will sit down with my patrons and i'll probably just try and smash this out that's my plan i don't think i'm gonna go to the bookstore i think i mentioned it yesterday briefly i don't think i'm gonna go i might go on monday morning instead uh, i have a meeting with my local book club at 1 p.m on monday so i might go in the morning before i meet them 
uh, just because time and the weather's shit and I honestly don't, I'm not in the mood to leave the house. So uh, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is today, chill, read, do a bit of housework. Tomorrow will be a filming and editing day. So, uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, it is currently 8 p.m. and I'm just over 100 pages in. I'm 119 pages in and I am enjoying this reread. I think this is a little bit like rereading a thriller. I don't do it very often on the basis that I already know what's happened. So some books you can get away with it. I don't, I like, for a long period of time, every single year I reread Akatar, the Akatar series. I haven't done it this year because I just haven't had the time, but I did reread Illuminae and I tend to reread the whole of the Illuminae files. I just haven't had a chance to pick up Gemini or Obsidio yet. Um, but it works because every single time I pick them up again, I find that there's quite a bit of it that I didn't remember or, you know, there's something else that I pick up on that I didn't last time because there's so much going on. Um, so I enjoy it. I do tend to pick up thrillers that maybe the first time round I feel like I did miss out on some bits and then I would gain more from it rereading it, but I don't do it very often. And romances I will regularly reread because it's just a comfort for me. However, this is a little bit different because despite the fact that it is a romance, it's very hard hitting contemporary. And I think because I know the twist, my enjoyment just isn't there as much because I already hate the character that causes the issues in this book. I'm not going to say any more than that, but it therefore can hinder your enjoyment a little bit. Um, so, but I am enjoying it. Otherwise, I have been tabbing it. I haven't been writing in, as, in this one as much as uh, Ugly Love, but I have been enjoying it so far. I am hoping that I might still be able to finish it tonight, but maybe not. Um, I'm listening to the audio to help me get through it just a little bit quicker, uh, but it says I still have three hours and six minutes left on 2.5 speed, so maybe I won't finish it, but I'm hoping to get through most of it maybe and just have a little bit left, even if it's just like 100 pages left at the end or something, uh, but we'll see. So I am going to carry on with my patrons, but I just thought I'd check in and let you know how I'm getting on. It is Monday and I'm here to wrap this reading vlog up. I did finish It Ends With Us Last Night by Colleen Hoover. This was a reread and it will be getting five stars again. It isn't as good. Well, in my personal opinion anyway, I preferred Ugly Love. This is a fantastic book. I just don't know whether it's the on reread. It just doesn't read the same because I know what's coming. Whereas the, sh so the shock factor isn't there as much. It was still there. I was still shocked, but I wasn't as shocked as I was the first time I read it. So um, I did really enjoy this. I did get to a point, I was tabbing it up, but I did get to a point where I was listening to it on audio while um, packing bookmarks so that I wasn't tabbing it as much. But um, yeah, I love this book. Five out of five stars. Uh, trigger warnings for uh, domestic abuse and violence and everything that kind of comes with that. Um, so yeah, just be wary of that going in. But I did then on this weekend read uh, both of these books and I had a really good time reading them. I will say, I don't know if I would encourage, I have thought about doing like a coho binging reading vlog. I'm 100% will never do that now. I don't know if I would encourage 
at binging her books back to back on the basis that they are so emotional. I am completely drained this weekend. Now I don't know, it could be a combination of a couple of things, but I do think this has had something to do with it. Um, it is kind of like Moon Sister Week semi it was an accident that sounds ridiculous um i ran out of my pill didn't realize and had to wait until i got my prescription so came on uh, that was way too much information but so there's been that so i'm tired because of that because i'm not used to it as well because i don't usually have them because i take the pill cons constantly uh but also like the weather's been a bit dull i mean it was too fucking hot but the weather has been dull compared it's been raining all weekend um, and just generally I haven't done much. I haven't moved out of the house at all over the weekend. So, but can throw these two in as well. It's emotionally exhausting reading these back to back. So I don't think I'm going to do that in future, uh, especially on the basis that I am, I do have four more books to read for this read along with my patrons. So I'm going to try and split them up, I think in future. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I had a really good time reading both of these and this is my new favorite book of the year. So yay for that i hope you have enjoyed this reading vlog and i shall see you in the next one bye for now